I'm Alva McClurkin. <clears throat> Company is AI Squared. Hey, it's Kellen. And today on Diversified Game, I tell you guys, do not let dilemmas stop you. Because my guest today, I mean, AI is his business. For all I know, I'm talking to his AI right now. Maybe he's in his own metaverse. You know, we can't see behind him. But I met him at 2023 CES. And man, I was blessed because he was he was showing me something and just, you know, I can't tell you I know everything about his business because it's too deep, but that's why he's here to give us the game. And I love learning as long as with y'all. So Alvin, my bruv, thank you for coming on the show. No problem. No problem. Tell the people, you know, um, and it's McClurkin, not McClurkin, like Don was going to try to make a play on words with my tongue twisted, you know, days. You, you do AI um, and, and and not the not the gospel, you know, but but, yeah. but, um, <laughs> but, but, but let the people know, especially for the end user, what your company does, because, you know, you're you're at a high level with um, technology and your computer science background. Yeah, so basically AI Square, we um we make it easy just to integrate machine learning models or artificial intelligence into any or your most important web-based applications. So say for instance, a lot of people use Salesforce or HubSpot, Microsoft Dynamics, anything like that, um, for maybe sales or marketing. Uh so say Kellen, you you know, you you're a, you're a potential customer and I'm an analyst or a sales analyst. And I'm, you know, I have data science teams building these uh machine learning models that's pushing me recommendation or information about about you. So I, I like if I'm on Salesforce right now, you know, I don't have to leave Salesforce and and look at my notes. I don't have to go to a, a SharePoint site, I don't have to go to another, all these different application hopping, you know, switching screens back and forth. I can get we integrate all that information right on top of that uh, application that you're currently using um, within your workflow. So now I know that you may have just had a a, a baby. So, you know, like my, on my screen, they push killing life insurance or savings plan for college or, you, you know, it just and in, 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 even in the advertisement sense, you know, hey, we have um, maternity clothes or we have Disney World trips coming. In. So you don't have to leave. You don't have to break your current workflow, you know, so we make we streamline all that into making the life easier for those end user analysts. OK, I'm going to push that right back to you, Alvin, because my I can hear my wife say, Alvin, don't do that. We're going we're going to rebuke that. You can have a baby, though. Um, Another one. You know, we, we she, she <laughs> says she two two and she threw um, now. <laughs> now, now, when people get your software. Is it something that, um, you know, once they get it, it's kind of kind of like AWS. Once you get into it, you're kind of stuck or like Facebook for the for person who doesn't know what AWS is. Once you're in Facebook, it's not like you can use that same data for TikTok unless you're like repurposing it using some software like that. But, you know, to keep it, try to keep it simple in the beginning for the folks, um, once they're using your software, they kind of tie it in. So then, you know, any, you know, they can't ever take it anywhere else or how does that work? No, no, on the contrary. So, so basically for the end user, like the, per the person that's receiving that intelligence and receiving those results, um, you, you don't even have to interact with the platform. It's automatically embedded into your web browser or to whatever application you're using. So you can go through your normal work day, your normal workflow as, as normal, but you have these um, you have these recommendations or you have whatever the desired um, information, you know, you have that on screen. You can cut it off because it's be like in the widget style or whatnot, um, but you don't have to actually go into a physical platform. That's one of the things we wanted to cut out, you know, because we we already have enough platforms and applications that we got to go to. Um, even for Zoom, you know, if you wanted to schedule a meeting, you had to hop out of Zoom, go to another platform. You have to go there and you check your email. Then, you know, you may have a note section. Um, so basically AI Square to integrate all of that into Zoom. So you won't even have to go to those different applications or change anything as an end user. 
Now for the AI or the data science teams, they go on the platform and they will re they will restructure and and uh, present, you know, based off the request of those uh, those end users, you know, how how you want to see the information, where do you want it? Do you want it in chart form? You want it in hyperlinks or graphs or whatnot? Um, so, but from the majority of our users, that will be like the analysts that maybe don't even know much about or very little about artificial intelligence. You, it doesn't matter because all you want to do is receive the results or the, the information how you want to receive it. Okay. And I love how you said, and you can cut it off like a widget because, you know, um, sometimes people have widgets even connected to their social media. Uh, you, you know, I go back to MySpace days or uh, yeah. I think even Facebook, you can do that. And then you don't have to use it. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's, yeah. So, so, so that's a, that's a great that's a great thing. Now, when you created this, you went to an HBCU. I want you to shout that HBCU out. And you know, is this something that you created or started to form when you were at Mississippi Valley State? Ah, uh, no. Shouts out to the Delta Devils of Mississippi Valley State. It of being a Mississippi. Look it up. You know, about an hour uh, west of Jackson, Mississippi. Everybody know Jackson because of Dion. But you know. Um, <laughs> But no, it was uh, it, it, it more so after Mississippi Valley State. But I will say just that that entrepreneurial spirit, that background of just, hey, we, you know, me, me and my best friend, Ben, who's the CEO um, of the company as well of AI Squared. You know, we, we were always just going back and forth, uh, just coming up with different innovative ideas because we knew um, we had the ideas. It was just a matter of fact of building that knowledge of how to get those into you know in, into fruition how to get those into work how to materialize and actualize those ideas um so it just was a combination of over the years of you know just seeing uh different pain points uh from from industry from customer as a student as an end user of applications um you know so just over the years and we finally we finally found one a, a, a good use case and we just we just rolled with it we ran with it Okay, now you're doing something, you know, I, I lived in Seattle for like six years and every tech company I worked at, there was always like one of us in the um, department. And I mean, like one, you know, yeah, you, yeah. you get that one and, and you feel like RoboCop sometimes, like, yeah. am I the only one who applied for a position here ever? Um, you know, now you're a founder of a company and I know you have, you know, a multicultural um, team. Yeah. How how has it been, you know, forming, you know, those relationships? Because one thing we know in business, you got to you have everybody. The best is the best. You know, Dion has Sam, if you guys have watched Prime and his yeah. documentary. And Sam is a young, you know, um, Caucasian kid. You know, I call him a kid compared to uh, Dion. But how has that been in the tech space? Because you went to an HBCU. Here you are as a, a black founder. But it's sometimes it can be difficult, you know, to um, even for us sometimes to hire our own for folks who are qualified, the best of the best. And who actually also want to work with the pay? Because as a startup, you know, sometimes you don't have what somebody else they might be able to get a quarter million, and you might only have one hundred fifty thousand to pay them. So, how have you kind of you know worked that out? Uh, so fortunately enough, we haven't had any um, hiccups in that area. You know, it's been it's been real good, especially with the new environment that we've been in. You know, post pandemic or during pandemic with working remote. Um, so you know, a lot of a lot of the individuals on our team, you know, they came from either uh, a referral basis or we we worked with them in some capacity in a, in a, um in the past. And you know, it's kind of like a we we plucked them, you know, we kind of plucked them away. It's like, oh man, this was the this was the best data scientist or the best computer engineer that we knew. Let's hit them up. See, hey, we got this company. You know, we come in in this role. Offer this. You want to be a part of it? And luckily for you know. For me and um and, and our CEO, we had the type of personality that you know that that people work well with us. You know, it, it was a uh, it it wasn't hard for us to to sway them. You know, we didn't have to sell them too much because one, they believed in the idea and what we were offering, and two, they they knew us, they trust us, and they liked us. So you know, if you got those three things in business, even from recruiting talent or even closing deals, you know, it makes it a lot easier. So that whole dynamic of diversified diversification, it wasn't necessarily a problem or wasn't a learning curve because, uh, you know, I mean, it starts from the top. It starts from the top, you know, 
you know, if 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 we're if we're kind of closed off and not open minded, you know, it's going to make it hard for the, the company as a whole. But we're not like that. You know, we like you say, we want the best of the best. But we also um, we also know where we come from. We also know the challenges that African-Americans face in the world of tech as well. Yeah. And it, it, sometimes, you know, we say, oh, man, I just want to hire, like have my whole team look yeah. like, like LeBron. And, and I've, I've tried to do a great job of that. But I do have team members who, you know, they are the best. They were willing to work the way I needed them to work. So you got the job and, you know, um, we, we're all we're all in the same tribe. But you might just look a little different. Yeah. Like, was there any like even pressure for you to, you know, be like, man, I, I wish, you know, I wish I could find more of us. Cause I, I, I and I say that cause I have family members who have, you know, the top level security clearances for mm -hmm. their jobs and they work with the best of the best in government. You guys, I'll let your imaginations roll. And they say it's hard to find anybody <laughs> to do what I do. But it's also really hard to find somebody who looks like me or looks similar with similar background because you have for your position, you got to have a skill set at a very high level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, it has. It wasn't hard, um, like I say, because I'll probably say our, our company is very well split. Maybe, you know, we... The, out of our six co-founders, three of them are African American. You know, um, mm -hmm. but, but a lot, a large part of our development team um, comes from Puerto Rico, um, and you know, so just Puerto, just, Puerto Rico. Okay, yeah, yeah you know, we, so, we got to shout out. Yeah, but I say <laughs> I need you to say that again because a lot of times, you know, we think we have it hard. The the Afro Latinos and Latinas have it even more difficult. You know. Mm -hmm. um, because especially when you have an accent, you know, people sometimes think, oh, you know, oh, I, I can pay you a little bit, you know, I'll pay you what I want to pay you. So yeah. speak on that a little more, please. No, I, I think the, the biggest thing with that too, like you say, I mean, there's the notion of that with the accent, um, not only from a uh, kind of like a judgmental, like, you know, like you say, pay you a little bit more or whatnot, but also just from a communication standpoint, you know, uh, just, just, just that day-to-day, that -day, you know, um verbalize you know they may pick up on some of the social cues or you know or just, just from listening period too it's kind of like what's going on so you know if you got some of those in a high level position you really have to be confident you know uh having them represent the company in the, in a in in a large speaking role where they're interacting with other companies or other customers that may not have the same views and culture as ours uh, as our company you know so um, I mean, that, that's that been a, a real, I mean, it hasn't been a challenge for us, but that's been, you know, it's been in the forefront of our brain, you know, it's like, all right, who's, who's comfortable doing, who's comfortable with these speaking things or who's comfortable with, with this role. And then on top of that, it's like, look, man, everybody, we, we, we treat everybody the same, you know, black, brown, white, yellow, you know, whatever, you know, if, if you can get the job done. You, then we getting the job done, you know, it's been a period from there. It, it, it ain't, no, you talk like this, you look like this, we going to put you here, we're going to give you this. No, no, we, you know, we, we, we coming in because the ultimate goal is, is to win. You know, you, if you can help me win, I can help you win. Then we all going to be winning regardless. I, I love it. I love it. And, you know, I, I lived in Seattle uh, for about four years, four or five years, maybe, maybe longer. And people would, um, you know, people would, um, you know, everything on the West Coast, you're either Mexican or if you're Asian, you're Chinese. Right. And they kind of might know Japanese, but I would diversity is a big thing, a big buzzword, I should say, on the West Coast. But I said it doesn't have to be because I manage people of who speak all type of languages. And I don't care if you're speaking Spanish or Swahili. If you have an issue saying something, say it in that your, your language. I feel like I'm a polygot sometimes, you know. Uh, say it in your language, and we'll we can translate it. We'll work it out. Even I don't care if it's Mandarin, because people make it seem like sometimes when people speak another language, like they're slow. No, they're not slow. They speak another language, and most <laughs> Americans only speak one. So maybe we're slow. I you know, know. Right? yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, so At I just want to have some level of conversation. You know, what I'm saying so some of us we can't have no level of conversation in, in a foreign language. It's like, uh... 
Yeah, yeah. And, and, and sometimes people think, oh, kill it, man. I, I'm, you'll translate. Nah, killing ain't translate. Nothing. Killing is all about discernment and yeah. hearing it. But um, wherever I go in the world, I like to be able to at least say please and thank you. So sometimes yeah. it seems like that. So no, I, I love that. I love that because um, we, we need more the multicultural, multi-language and everybody needs to you know, be able to do what they need to do and say what they need, express themselves, not just for the job, but if you're feeling uncomfortable too. Um, so I, I love to hear that. Now, can you tell the young person listening who says, wow, I want to be just like Alvin when I grow up. He seems well polished. Um, he's not as local on La Cabeza as Kellen. You know, he, look, that's crazy. Y'all crazy in the head. Um, you know, he, 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 he's, he's, he's there. I want to be like that guy. Um, can you tell them how you started and, you know, funded your company, because VC is a big topic online. And we're seeing a lot of bad podcasts be lying, talking about crimes, PPP loans to get money. And folks are just doing this, shaking their head. Why? One out of ignorance, two out of greed, and three, they just don't know any better. So whatever so-called expert comes on their show, they're like a lizard and they just shake mm -hmm. their head. Yeah, that's good game. So how did you legally, ethically, with all the morals intact, get the money to do what you do and keep it you know, genuine, trustful, and Black? I had to rhyme that out. <laughs> no, I think it goes back to the point of um, one, one of the biggest things that I said earlier and one of the biggest things that AI Squared, you know, we, we kind of, we hit home. It's like, you know, if people know you, like you, and trust you, then uh, you can get you can get far. You can get a lot of things done. You can close those deals. You can bring in people. Um, you can open doors that normally wouldn't open. You know, because um, I mean, I remember when they always once said, you know, it, they say, uh, you know, it's all about who you know. But and I remember this one guy told me, well, actually, it's all about who knows you. You, get, you know, I, I know I know Michael Jordan, but he ain't gonna do nothing for me unless he know me. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> So I was, I mean, we had, we had, we've had a, the privilege to build a, a real strong network through just, um, you know, just some of our endeavors that we did from playing sports to the different internships that, that we uh, went to the, the different job opportunities that we took. Um, so uh, coming, I came from a federal background working on um, the U S government department of energy and department of defense, as well as a lot of our, um, or some of our co-founders, but our CEO, he was at a company where, you know, he, he, he came to, he had the idea. Um, so most of y'all may know it's, it's a software called Databricks. Um, and, and he came, he was one of the early in, uh, employees, you know, one of the first hundred or so. He had an idea, you know, so he brought it to one of the co-founders there and the co-founders like, man, that, that's a, that's a really good idea. You know, um, I can introduce you to some people. Um, uh, and that was those, and those people happened to be the three um, early investors that were in Databricks, you know. So it was NEA, A16Z, um, and uh, Battery uh, Ventures, you know. So I, and, and I'm real big on cliches and different things like so, and or like just sayings, you know. But they say luck, luck is just when opportunity um, meets your preparedness, you know. So, you know, you create your own luck by being prepared when opportunities come. So luckily we had already been uh, developing like uh, investor pitch decks. You know, we've been, we, we went through, we started a company right at the height of COVID. So we, we did a bunch of custom, all we could do was customer discovery via Zoom, Google Meets. You know, we were talking to the customers, just getting pain points, seeing what their needs is, um, at what, what the technology that we offer would, would it be useful so we've pivoted and changed that various times throughout 2020 um so in 2021 we were introduced to those three you know so we we went in and we pitched them we got a, we and we got offered from two <laughs> you know so one was like yeah we ain't really feeling but the other two was like yo we we, we, we yeah we, we're willing to invest so it was it was um it happened a lot faster than a lot but it's, it's like that iceberg effect, you know, you see the tip of the iceberg, but, you know, under the water is massive, you know, all of 2019, 2020, 2021, we were putting in, we laid the groundwork, um, whereas a lot of people just come with the idea and go straight to investors. You no, know, we, we had the idea, we worked on it, we built on it, we put the message in, 
we had we had evidence use cases hey this is what the customers are saying um hey this is why this company needs this this is where our product fits this is where we can expand you know so if you go into meetings like that already and, and, you know and, and and like you say i mean it helped that we we were um the fact that we were you know african-american they weren't they haven't seen that and they was like man you know this is this is different you know these guys are sharp you know they're a little more uh in tune you know it's kind of like more curious it's like i want to i want to know more about this guy you know they already you know they're kind of more attracted to that the aura so you know and they're in tech so it's like hey not only do they have a good tech they're good people they they they, they can do this and they, they're real good um and so I, I believe that's how we got our shot you know but ultimately it came from just doing that groundwork beforehand you know, it wasn't it wasn't like an overnight thing. I got this idea. I'm about to go pitch and people going to give me money. No, it's it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work that went into it beforehand. We just luckily enough had had shown that or people had seen it and that, you know, they put us in front of the right people and we were prepared for that opportunity and took advantage of it. Tell the people what made you stand out as far as a lot of people get, you know, the same degree that you get. They try to do a business. What made you what did you read? What professor inspired you, maybe helped you out? What was the difference? I would say uh, just, just being a, a a competitor, you know, um, again, it, I was one of probably two or three on a play, I played football in Mississippi Valley State. Um, and then I was going to get a computer science degree as well. So it was only one other person that was doing that. And the other person is our CEO of AI Squared as well. You know, we both went to Mississippi Valley State. Um, and, and so, you know, just kind of like, it's that competitiveness, whereas a lot of people growing up telling you, you know, you can't do this or, or not, it, What's even worse is people telling you, you can't do it is that you grow up and you see like, why didn't anybody tell me that I could do this? Or why didn't anybody tell me that this was possible? So, you know, just from that competitive background, we kind of had like that, that, you know, growing up, you know, everybody loved Michael Jordan and Kobe. You know, you, you see those individuals, you see like the, the Jerry Rice's, you know, alma mater, Mississippi Valley State, you know, that, that hard work, you know, we, it, it, it was a it, it was an easy translation from putting that hard work in on in sports into the classroom and then to everyday life. So it was just reps and reps and reps, knowing that failure would be a part of it. But failure wasn't the end. You know, it's just stepping stones. Uh, so I think I think just having that 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 strong foundation and, and faith, you know, just, just that faith, that that strong foundation, that, that village with our family. Um, people that believe in you um, and and just having that that competitiveness to to just not stop, you know, just be relentless. You know, <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, you got to just be relentless. You know, they always say, you, you know, if, if I if I'm a if, if I'm a be broke, you know, what I'm, saying? I'm a <laughs> uh, if I'm gonna have problems. I'm gonna have problems having money and not being broke. So I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep working. I'm gonna keep working. I'm gonna keep working because if I stop, I'm gonna be in this position anyway. So I might as well keep working to see if I can change it. You know, it's just that mentality. So it was just a collection of people throughout, you know, family, you know, people that we wanted to emulate in life. Um, it wasn't just like one set thing that kind of like flipped the switch. I think it's just like a snowball effect throughout the years. It was like, oh man, man this is it. We got to get it. <laughs> Okay, I was I was trying to get the people something to say, yeah, man, I had this magic tree. I saw these beanstalk, you know, and and I I, I grabbed the, the the beans from it, but it's just hard work, and and there is no there is no magic. So I love that you you know you yeah. put it like that. I I, I think if, if there is a magic, it'd be a, the magic would just be in you to keep going, you know, like like that that is a magic that is a superpower in itself to kind of just defy the odds and say, look, this is what I want. This is what I'm going to go after. If I got to change, you know, it may not look the same when I get there, but you know, I'm a, I'm going to head in that direction. And, you know, you have to be willing to, to change, you know, I, I wanted to be a doctor, but I ended up being a, a computer engineer, but ultimately the goal was to be, you know, successful, to be financially independent, to take care of your family, you know, at the end of the day. So just staying on that course, and being open-minded and not quitting that that's the real magic right there 
Man, that's amen to that. A amen to that. Is there's nothing, nothing just you're gonna, you know, you could be naturally good at something, but to be great, it's gonna take practice. Where whether it's shooting at the shooting range, yeah. boxing, your math, you know, times tables, writing, reading, all that. It's a it's a beautiful thing. So now that you're young enough still to you know be able to enjoy this moment, um, can you talk about the community give back that you're doing or that you would like to do in the future? Yeah, no, we, we I mean, we, we, we do a lot. Um, I mean, even before we were coming, we were, we were always, <laughs> we, we were always trying to give back because that was like the main purpose. It was always bigger than ourselves. Um, I think that that helped us not uh, give up, especially, I mean, it helped me not give up on a lot of things or not necessarily give up, but it helped me, not get complacent, you know what I mean? Because a lot of times in my career, before starting AI, AI Square, you know, I was, you know, I, I had a, I had a good job, you know, I was I was good. I know my, my family was taken care of, but it wasn't, you know, it, it wasn't, I wasn't in a position to help as many people as I could, you know. I, I wasn't able to employ people. I wasn't able to go out and, you know, do things in the community and give, you know, um, you 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 spoke on the the Dion the, the prime time uh, documentary on Amazon. You know I saw the episode. He was like, I was receiving a lot of light, but I wasn't shining my light on other people. You know, I mean, it wasn't the you know it wasn't verbatim what he said, but I mean in a sense, you know, I was receiving a lot of things, but to me, I wasn't receiving enough to be able to to give to shine that light on others to help them you know, to, to have that trickle down effect, you know, you want to have that, that, like that, 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 that family tree, that family branch where, you know, you help this person, hopefully they become better than you and they can help multiple other people, you know, and it just, it keeps going. But so like right now we, we have internship program during the summer where we try, we hire, um, recently it's been all from HBCU, um, uh, you know, marketing from in computer science, uh, finance, we and and ironically they've all been women so you know we've been trying to get more women to stem we've been trying to uh get more hbcus um as well as get, just getting them that experience of working at a tech company um we we've done that so i think we've had about 10 interns to probably the past two summers you know we give them stipends you know give them experience put on their resume you know they're they're sending some of these investor meetings you know as we raising the next round of funding you know they're getting you know, getting things that we didn't get or that we didn't even know about, didn't even know it was fathom, you know, like VC. I didn't know what a VC was until I was 30, you know. <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah, but it's like, what is that? You know? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. But what, why would you, you know, why would you know it unless you have someone in your, yeah. your family? And, and that's the thing when people start, you know, throwing out like, well, you know, VC. It, you know, VC is racist and this and that. Well, actually, on the other end, they don't know us yeah. and we have to make ourselves known. And you do business with people that you know and you like. So if you're not at certain meetings, if they're not at certain meetings, you know, they're not going to really come to the cookout and the picnic unless you invite them. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it, it's yeah. crazy. And we, and, we, <laughs> and we recently, you know, I, I grew up, I claimed, I mean, I grew up, I was born in Detroit, Michigan, moved to Jacksonville, Florida around sixth grade. So I call it Jacksonville home because that's kind of where I kind of grew into, you know, those adolescent years. And then. But we um we recently donated five thousand dollars on part of AI Square to a partnership for children's health um, that helps uh, behavior issue children in the community of Jacksonville. You know, so they were able to around the time when Black Panther Two came out, they were able to rent out a movie theater, provide food, drinks, have free admission for you know all the students in those programs and and their families and some of the communities. They got to watch the movie. Um, and then we did a panel discussion, you know, just kind of where they got a chance to pick our brain, um, you know, about different ideas, what they can do for this area and whatnot. Um, so we, I mean, we have, then we do individual volunteering as well. We try to promote that throughout the company. Um, you know, anything that individuals come up to us with like, Hey, I want to, you know, I want to go do this, you know, can we fund like, yeah, let's, let's do it. So we, we're always looking for ways to give back to the community. Um, but 
you know, even outside of the company, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing that as a person, as a man, you know, as Alva McClurkin, not as, you know, the head operations of AI Square. So that's just ingrained in, you know, who I am and, you know, and who the company is as well. No, I love that. I love that. I also want to go, you know, for all those folks who are doing a computer science degree, you know, I know when talking to you, I was bugging you because I was thinking about my nephew um, and, you know, people are saying, well, go this way, you know, 20 years old, don't know which career path, but you know, you want to make some money. And um, Alvin uh, said, you know, do computer science before before you do cybersecurity, so you're not already specialized. You can always learn cybersecurity. But can you talk about, are there any other, after you get your um, computer science degree, are there any other certifications that you need? Because not everybody is going to be able to get a top security clearance, even if you do have a clear a clean record. Because sometimes you get pulled over, right? Yeah. And that could just, depending on how that goes, you're not getting that top secret security clearance if you go work for the government. or um, Some folks aren't going to get global entry, you know, mm -hmm. um, to the, just because you, life might have hit you where it, maybe you didn't do anything wrong, but you're around someone who did. And, you know, everyone's not going to go to the FBI because of who your uncle is or who your brother is. They're not, they're not going to Whitey Bulger. You, you know, they don't want another Whitey Bulger. <laughs> and, and so um, talk about any other certifications or, and do you really have to have this CSI degree? Um, you know, maybe you can just get certifications and, um, you know, your company would hire people without a degree. I don't know. You let me know. Yeah, it, it all, it all depends on case by case basis. So, you know, if you get, if you get the CI, you get that computer science degree, um, <clears throat> like, like I said, I'm, I'm a, just me personally, I, I'm, I like, I like to have options. I like to have options. I like to have flexibility. So unless I know that I really want to. You know, if an individual tells me I really want to be a cybersecurity specialist or, you know, whatnot, then it's like, OK, that's fine. You 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 go ahead, be, you know, go ahead, major and, you know, in that field. But if you if you like I like cybersecurity, but, you know, I'm, I'm open or whatnot, I'm like, we we'll get the computer science degree. That way you have options where, you know, two years down the road, you know, you're in the, in the field or you're working in the job force and you're like, man, this sucks. You know, I wish I could have this, but I don't have the specialization. I don't have the training. I don't have the background, you know? So I like to, uh, I like to recommend just keeping those things open and with a computer science degree, you'll be able to do that. Um, and then from there, you know, just depending on what job that you go into, you know, you will get that specialized training on, uh, from there. Um, whether it be cybersecurity, whether it be uh, just a strictly a manager, whether it be over finances, you know, um, at the end of the day, you know, it, it, it's just based off of you and your ability to learn and, 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 and what, you know, you, you can, you can pick up in a sense. Um, but so there's, there's no real special um, certification or specialization that you would have to get um as well as you know if you don't have a computer science degree like you say if you go the certification route uh or whatnot um that that'll just be dependent on your work you know if, if you don't have a degree you have to have some kind of some kind of evidence some kind of tangible evidence to to show like look this is what i did this is what i built um this is what i worked because if you look at most of the entrepreneurs and some of these largest companies you know like the Zuckerbergs and, and some of, you know, the, the Bill Gates that initially when they started Apple, Microsoft, they, they didn't have no degree either, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, they, they, they go to a job like, Hey, I built, you know, who's going to turn down Steve Jobs as being, you know, as one of their, their CEO or COO at the time or, or Bill Gates in a sense, you know, they may have recently obtained or, you know, later on obtained a degree, but at the, at those times, you know, th those things, you know, it, like I say, it's case by case basis. You can't not have a degree and then just pull up and like, hey, I, I want to do this. Can I get a job? You know, no. <laughs> you know, what, what have you done? You got anything to show? What's some projects? Have you built any um, open source technologies on GitHub? You know, just different things. You know, I mean, you got 14 year old, 12 year old hackers out here breaking into the Pentagon and stuff, you know, no degree, no certifications, anything, you know, it's like some people with the masters and doctors can't even do that. So, you know, you know, it's a fine balance on a case by case basis uh, in that sense. But I mean, overall, I would just say, just keep those options open, you know, be flexible um, is the reason why I had told you to, um, that I would tell your nephew, like go the computer science route 
And if he wanted to do cybersecurity, he can get a specialization in that or, you know, some specific training. But he still had options to go to other verticals or other avenues. Okay, uh, man, I, I love it. I love it. Now, let me push you a little bit because you are um, a special soul where you love sharing the game. Are you on any speaker circuit, started writing your book or anything yet? No, I mean, people always tell me about writing a book, <laughs> but I just haven't, you know, I, I haven't like just sat down and dedicated time to do it. Uh, and far as speaking circuits, not not necessarily on a circuit, just more on a, a case by people who reach out and ask to be on a panel or, you know, some of the like the smaller events, uh, you know, not not the CES size, but, you know, maybe like AI4 or, or just, just some different events may speak there on those um, different type of engagements. Or even at a university level, um, you know, kind of going back, talking to uh, Mississippi Valley State or just different HBCUs in a sense. Um, but not, not not a scheduled circuit or anything like that. OK, well, we're going to push you because we need somebody like you who has common sense and good character and not, you know, talking. You know, I don't know about you in no way. Am I an expert in, in really anything? I'm always learning, so I'm always a student, but I get sick and tired of people talking about AI like they know what they're talking about, like they even know how to do basic coding. You know, people talking about, oh man, servers, and what do you, you what they're really talking about is, you know, something they bought off AWS, and here I've, I've worked with different tech companies, or even the crypto, people talking about crypto, like crypto was ever meant for you to become rich off of it. That wasn't the purpose of crypto. So when I hear people give, oh, and you got to get that Shiba, you got to get that Doge, and you got to get, you know, and say things that they can't even spell, right? They, when, 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 when they don't have a... <laughs> A ETF or a, a, I mean, they don't have anything, yeah, they but they talk yeah. about it, you know, and, 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 and some of them are even from my home city of Oakland, California and wear funky hats. Like I wear funky hats, but you know, we are not the same because there is no get rich quick. You guys know who I'm talking about, man. <laughs> who got the keys? I'm talking, <laughs> I'm talking, <laughs> but, but, but I got, I got, I got about 20 plus of them on here. You know, if, if you, if you understand, you overstand, but can, how do you ever get frustrated when you hear people talk about AI, especially when you come to something like CES and see that there's tech out there that you can only read about and you can only see it at a CES, like give us the game on just how that makes you feel for the phonies who are, you know, trying to be you, really. They're trying to have education experience that you have. Yeah, no, I mean, <clears throat> it's frustrating, but at the same time, I I try not to uh, let it affect me or get to me in most cases, just because I know at the end of the day, you're going to have people trying to capitalize off a moment or trying to capitalize off of what's hot. And then, you know, tomorrow, you know, the next buzz where they're, they're going to be trying to sell that it's all about selling something it's all about uh just riding that wave you know um so in my approach is i try to counter that by just being authentic authentically me you know what I'm, saying? I'm not i'm not trying to sell you uh uh how how smart i am you know i'm not trying to sell you know like you know how how rich i got off of buying dogecoin at point zero 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 three you know what I'm saying you know so i'm not i'm not you know it, all that don't matter because i know i'm you know I, i'm i'm sure and grounded of who i am you know so you know you ask me a question i give it to you real i give it to you in the best way that i think um that's digestible you know and it in, in a common sense, I'm not trying to flex, you know, my my intellect and stuff, you know, by using, like you say, you, you go ask somebody about AI, they start talking at this very high level, you know, it's like, man, it's not that serious. You know, if you want to get in the technical conversation, then you 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 going to, you get in the technical conversation, but, you know, like more times than not, you're talking to a regular person, you know, they, they're not looking for all that. They just want to get, get an idea. They want to know how you get into it. Or, you know, they just want to know, like, just what was your thought process? They're not trying to get into the weeds and, and get into all that. So, you know, it's, it, like you say, it's, it's frustrating. You know, everybody got those, everybody got those people, but uh, I just look at them as, 
I just, I mean, they're not necessarily con men, but I just look at them, they just riding the wave, you know, they, they, whatever the next wave is, you know, that they're going to be on it. So they're going to be, forget all about cryptocurrency. They're going to get, forget all about AI. They're going to, they, they, you know, everybody, oh, now it's the, what's the, the, the chat GPT. Everybody talking about chat GPT, like they've been on it since, you know, the beginning. Like, man, you just <laughs> heard about that. <laughs> <laughs> you just found out about it last week. You you regurgitating what you saw on YouTube, you know. So you know, I, I try not to let that get to me. I try to and I try to be that 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 filter, or I try to be that that resource of that the real in a sense. <laughs> Man, I I love it because you know we we don't we don't need anybody else who's coming out of the uh, the mosque or anything else. I you know I'm taking this personal when I I go there. And saying that they have some enlightenment, but they can't even talk to the basic. You know, like most people don't know what you're talking about. And people who know what you're like are experts in those fields are like, you sound like a fool, right? <laughs> you, you know, again, I got 20 plus keys on here. <laughs> um, you know, uh, 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 you, the, like you're in a, a stratosphere, astro turfing, just talking about nothing. Nothing. And 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 you can't even get past port forwarding if I gave you a a, a synology unit. Yeah, no, you, um, you, you know. don't have you don't have no home. You don't have no base. You can't talk with the with, with the common. You can't talk with the experts. You know you just in in no man's land. <laughs> yeah, no no man no man's land. And then when you are talking and you do talk to the experts, just because the experts don't correct you, especially in a public setting, they one may feel sorry for you. <laughs> Two may think you're on the spectrum. You know, I've seen some, so, so I could go on and on. I don't want to get messy because I don't want to put Alvin in that mess because he's too blessed. But I just have to throw it out there, you guys. If you're really smart and sharp like Alvin is, you don't have to overprove it. You don't have to use the biggest words. Look, he simplified it for the layman and I appreciate it because I understood it, right? I And that that's good. That's, that's, it's a beautiful thing. What does the next five to 10 years look like for you? Mm, yeah. in your plan in your, your, your planning. And I'm planning for it. So for company wise, you know, we, we will be, we'll be well past a billion dollar company. We'll be on our way to being one of one, one of the, the trillion dollar companies. I, I take mark my word, you know, you know, that that's Jesus that, that, Christ. That, that's already that, that's right. already written in stone right there. You know, we we'll be, we'll be on our way. One of the most disruptive uh, AI companies um, in 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 the world uh, for that. Um, but as far as me, you know, ten five ten years, you know, I have I have three girls. I have a girl that I have three daughters, twin eleven year olds and a six year old. So on a personal level, you know, I I will be. I would be in a space where it, you know, at that point where it's, it'd be financially, you know, I, I like to say financially invincible, you know? So it's, you know, it's, it's more than free, you know, as I'm able to help others, I'm able to, to do what I want, you know, in, in a, in a moral, in a moral aspect, you know, <laughs> but at the same time, I had a flexibility to, to, to enjoy life, you know, and, and, and it's a blessing to become a blessing. So, you know, five, 10 years, my, you know, the 11 year olds would be 16 and 21, you know, the six year old would be uh, 11 and 16, you know, so I'll be enjoying them, you know, I'll be uh, traveling, hopefully, they're there on a path, you know, doing, you know, what whatever they want to do, you know, not not something because they have to do, you know, I, I have to go get this because I got to provide for them. No, I, I want to do this because I can, and if I can provide, then, you know, good, but it's not, they, they don't have to show to that burden, but, you know, you know, that, you know, a lot of our generation have, but at the same time, you know, you want them to have a little bit, cause you, you got to keep that grit, you know, you got to keep that grit in them, you know, you got to keep that fight, you know, and they can't, can't have them be, have it too easy in a sense or everything, expect everything given, but um, company wise, I mean, we're going to, we're going to be a force, you, you know, it won't, it, you, you know, that this would be a, a propelling platform, you know, for for AI squared in a sense of it will be a household name. Um, it'll, it'll be embedded in a, a lot of a lot of devices that you don't even know, you know, like like even with the iPhone. A lot of people don't even know all the technologies that's in the iPhone or a lot of all the companies that that build things, the apps or the the microchips and, you know, 
who builds the speakers for the iPhone? You know what I'm saying? Like all these different, you know, we're, we're going to be everywhere. You know, you may not know it. It may not, you may not see the logo, but it, 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 it'll be there um, because AI is going to happen, you know, regardless. Um, it, it's, it's all, it's already here. It's already happening. It's, it has been, but it's only going to get more prevalent. So, you know, from, from a personal business standpoint, that's where I see me. I see me just traveling and enjoying the kids and also, you know, being part of one uh, you know, the first black trillion dollar company in the world. With black got black. you, got you. And 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 I and I have a feeling you you want that, you know, everybody has a scoreboard, they want to get to a certain score, but to be able to do, you know, some of those community give backs on a bigger, higher level, not because you want to go get the whole Jackson five, you know, uh facial thing and the the you know air, uh, the jerry curl you know uh all that you know so it, it's a beautiful thing that you want to do that um bless that let let it happen as long as you don't go kanye crazy <laughs> and say let let the progress roll and stroll you guys have been blessed by the game let them know where they can find you whether they are you know a, a future um, team member of yours, a future um, client, maybe they're a future consultant of yours because they got something to say, look, I can add some value. What's the best way to be able to contact and connect with you? And then, of course, your company, because it's a beautiful website. Uh, yeah, no. So the best way to contact me is um, either LinkedIn, you know, uh, real, real active on LinkedIn. Uh, you can just search my name, Alvin McClurkin. Um probably the the first one that'll pop up m c c l e r k i n uh so it's not it's not like a john smith or anything where you have to filter through about ten thousand of them it'll be i'll be the only one um and also on there you, you like you said uh a i squared search it or you can go to squared dot a i um the u r l uh to go to the company website uh to find out more information about the company also other uh team members co founders um as well uh, but those would be the two best spots uh <clears throat> that that i would say um as well and also our contact information is on the website and in, in linkedin as well if you want to reach out on a more uh individual basis you you guys have been blessed by the game i know some of y'all are thinking hey kelly you didn't even mention africa in this episode i know I'm going to talk to him about that off air because, you know, them trillions got to be dispersed in, in a way globally. Uh, so you guys make sure you check out the links in the description and share this with somebody. It will change their life. Be blessed, y'all. Are you tired of the violence, tired of the injustice, police brutality, rampant discrimination, lack of gun control in this failed by a socioeconomic experiment called America? Or maybe you need a break from the relentless grind and want to regain control of your destiny, your wealth, your health, and your purpose. Diversifiedgang.com has the right course for you. Prepare for my first trip to Africa. Looking to reconnect with your roots, start a new business, or just a fresh start. Africa, AKA the motherland is waiting. Don't let the Chinese and the Mazungus have the fun and also take over the motherland. From Cairo to Mombasa, from Dakar to Cape Town, Africa has something for everyone from business opportunities to the most amazing people, safety, leisure, and landscapes. So opportunities abound. It is time for the diaspora to reconnect with their roots. Time to reconnect with the birthplace of humanity. Africa is the last frontier. Get your head in the game and reclaim your legacy. The writing is on the wall. Babylon is falling. Give up the stress, grind, and violence inflicted on our people on this continent and prepare for a journey of restoration and joy by connecting with the land of your ancestors. Check out our new course and kick off your adventure at diversifiedgame.com.